Mac Method Gang. In the car with it, another car blog, man. Today I'm just gonna be talking about your mindset, right? Because, so I don't know what I'm gonna title this video, but I'll figure it out. Anyways, man, your mindset is the key. And I always preach this, but I need to preach it more because I prove it to myself each and every single day. If you look at something in a pessimistic, with a pessimistic outlook, chances are the results are going to be negative, right? If you always see the glass half empty rather than half full, you're already expecting things to go wrong. You're already looking at it in a negative light. That's why I try to avoid pessimistic people and people that are not positive at all times. Now, of course, we're gonna go through our ups and downs and we're gonna have negative times and we're gonna be in negative mind frames from time to time, but the key is to control the amount of time you spend and dwell in those situations because if you spend your whole life or a whole time period being in this depressed state, sad, upset, mad at the world, mad at people, mad at circumstances, mad at your situation, that chances are you put yourself in those situations. Now, of course, there's some situations where unavoidable, but even then, you still wanna have a positive outlook because what's the alternative, right? The alternative is succumbing to the negative. The alternative is accepting reality to be negative. So most things that happen after that, the effects, the the byproducts of each situation you're in are going to probably be negative. So I spend most of my time trying to be positive, trying to be happy, trying to be, well not really trying to be, I am generally happy for most of the time or positive, right? Because I know the, the outcome if I'm not positive. Why would I wanna stay negative? Why would I wanna be a negative mind frame? And plus it affects everything, right? This is why I always talk about looks maxing, body game, and all this stuff, because of course you have to love yourself as a human being. You should love yourself either way, but especially when you start doing these things, taking care of yourself. Looks maxing and body game are just key words for this topic, but the reality is it's just literally taking care of yourself and loving yourself, giving yourself that attention that you deserve, right? Because the reason why me and all these content creators use looks maxing and body game it's because like i just said they're coin terms like it's just the word but the reality is it's literally just taking care of yourself making your bed in the morning making sure your room is clean making sure you look clean making sure you're put together you take care of yourself you get in the gym you start enhancing your appearance by just increasing your potential you find a good haircut that you like you find a style that you like but you, you put together well things like that Inherently, I always say it's gonna boost your confidence. It's gonna make you have a more positive mindset because you're already, well now, you're starting to like yourself a little bit more. You're taking yourself a little bit more serious. So now you wanna be in better positions in your life, right? Your confidence is up, your look is up, people are giving you better attention. You're giving yourself, most importantly, better attention, better care of yourself. So now, your, your standards are higher, right? The problem with people is because, or the problem with people is that their standards are low. Now, this doesn't mean turn into some selfish, not caring, horrible person, absolutely not. But what I'm saying is, raise your standards. If you know your worth and you know you're worth more, then raise the standards. How would you, what is your future? What is your, your destiny? Does your life look like for you what do you want it to be and keep striving for that goal you can't strive for that goal when you're in a negative mindset you just can't and um i'm kind of going off the rails here but i'll just switch to this topic so an example would be i think i covered this on the last video but i'll go over it again because it happened yesterday again but i caught myself as it was happening so what was going on was I was working on my business, working on my side thing. I'm making these programs for these clients and I'm really optimizing everything because I have a couple people on the program and I just feel like I gotta, I gotta step it up, right? Because I want these people to get results and I really want this, this, this is what I want to do. So I want to put all my effort into it. Obviously I'm just starting, so it's not gonna be perfect, but any way I can improve, I'm trying to improve, right? Either way, I'm working on my, I'm working on the business, I'm working on everything, and as I'm doing it, that imposter syndrome started kicking in again, where I'm like, do I really know what I'm doing, or what am, what am I doing, or do 
these people really believe in me to help them? Am I good enough for these people? All these ridiculous things. And luckily I caught myself in the middle of it. And I was like, these people obviously believe in me. They obviously trust in me. They're reaching out to me for this specific plan that I'm that I made, you know what I mean? It's literally my name. The plan is Mac Method, which is me. <laughs> so the, it's funny because I'm questioning me when I'm the one, when it's literally my plan, you know what I'm saying? It's my product. It's my workout plan. <laughs> so it, it's just funny how I was uh, I was thinking all these negative thoughts. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. There's like a thing, there's a little noise tapping, but anyways, so I, I'm over here questioning myself about Am I gonna provide enough value? Are these people really gonna get results and all that stuff? And I couldn't operate, right? I couldn't get anything done because I was just like questioning everything I was doing from that point on. And when I caught myself thinking about that, I told myself, no, just said, I told myself, no, this is my thing. This is what I do. I know what I'm talking about. These people believe in me. I know what I'm doing. And I changed my outlook right then and there. I changed into a positive mind frame, positive mindset, and trusting in my my abilities and you know what I can do and I started getting work done within 10 minutes I started getting a lot of work done right I started really getting into the flow of things getting back on track and that's what I realized with starting this this business that I have going on guys this is not a big business I just started this but the point is the amount of lessons I've learned already and how how crazy your mind can be is really insane one second I feel like I'm on top of the world, I'm conquering things, I'm finally starting my own thing, I'm uh, making progress, this and that. The next second, the next day, I feel like I'm an imposter. I feel like, am I really good enough? Am I really cut out for this? Can I really do this? My mind is here, then here, then here, then here, then here. And I guess that just comes with, with business, I guess, for me, but anything else, my mind is not like that, right? So. I couldn't imagine if I didn't have confidence in myself. I couldn't imagine if I didn't have the the charisma and, and just how I generally have an, a positive outlook. Imagine if, without even starting the business, that I didn't have no confidence. I wasn't a, a positive person. I always had a negative outlook. Can you imagine how this, this venture would be? I probably wouldn't even have started it. That's part of the reason why I never started it. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely wouldn't have started it and even if i did start it it wouldn't work out i'd probably give up within a day because i would already i already have that the outcome of the negative reality which would be like i would fail because if i have a negative outlook on everything right and uh, i'm trying to start this new thing and uh, automatically i'm gonna think oh this isn't gonna work or oh uh, i might as well give up and guess what's gonna happen it's not gonna work because i'm gonna give up so i already i already confirm the outcome of what I'm doing based off my thinking. So I'm trying to force myself to have the outcome of what I think it's going to be to be a big success, right? And of obviously I'm taking action to do it. I'm not just saying it hoping that it happens, but when when you when you force your mind to believe that no, this is going to work. This is going to happen. This is going to do it and you're taking the actions to actually do it. Chances are it's probably going to happen. And even if it doesn't happen, the amount of lessons you've learned, the amount of knowledge you've picked up, you can apply to anything else. So, hey man, sort of just rambling at this point. But guys, the point of this is just fix your mind, right? Fix your mind. How do you fix your mind? How do you start feeling confident? I talk about it in every single video. Start working out, start getting in shape, start building up your appearance, start loving yourself, start having confidence, start talking to people, start doing whatever, whatever, picking up a new hobby, getting good at your hobby. If you like playing basketball and you suck at it and you don't have no confidence in it, practice. Start practicing, practicing basketball. Start playing basketball more. You wanna get better, start practicing. You're gonna have more confidence in it. it. It goes to anything. It really goes to anything. And always, all this stuff is a byproduct of, or I'm sorry, attracting women, attracting people, attracting opportunities is a byproduct of you working on yourself right so it's just an interesting it's interesting it's, it really is an interesting world and your mind is very 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 complicated your brain is is so complicated 
your brain can really drive you insane or or allow you to become the person you always knew you could become it's scary man it, it, it's so scary right because man I know there's some people that just operate in that negative frame at all times and their life is not how they want it to be because partly because of their circumstances that they cannot control which is definitely understandable but another part of it is also they're not taking the action to get out of it and they're not they're not forcing themselves to have a um, positive outlook on things and I guess that's it for this video. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, DM me Mac Method on my IG, Mac underscore method. This is for the program, three month, 90 day program. I'm talking about a strict routine, strict workout plan, strict diet. I know a lot of people struggle with the diet for 90 days. This is my uh, premium offer pretty much, but I'm starting, I'm gonna start doing sort of, I talked about it in my other videos, but I'm gonna just make a, a community for people that they just want the mindset part of it because the mindset is a big part of it, honestly. I should charge a lot for that mindset thing because it really is the mindset because I can give you the best plan, the best nutrition, the best everything, but if you don't have, but if you don't take action, you don't have the mindset, you're not motivated or disciplined to do it, nothing's gonna happen, right? But anyways, with the premium offer, it, it's everything. It's literally me on you at all times, things like that. But the Unchained Society group that I'm making is definitely, definitely coming very, very, very soon. Very, very soon, right? Because honestly, I, I don't care if I have 10,000 subscribers. I just, as long as I have a, a community, some sort of a small little community and we can build off each other, that's fine by me, you know what I'm saying? So, and if you're wondering what what's the point of this, it's gonna be something where we can keep each other accountable we can keep each other going we can motivate us we can just conquer we can set our goals our plans all this type of stuff man because that's what's important right so anyways that's it for the video i'll see you guys in the next one